Perfect. What is going on guys? Welcome to the Jaff Man. I'm your host, Jaff. Now it's been a little while since I made one of these videos, but I thought since my wife upgraded to the S21 Ultra, it's about time I compare it to my Note 20 Ultra. I've had this phone since launch. This one we got about two months ago. I've tried it out for about a week. She's used it for the remainder. They're both running daily driver phones. We get to see how they perform next to each other. And ultimately, if you're in the market for either of these phones, which one you should actually get? Because they're both great phones. They have some differences and obviously some similarities being that they're both top of the range Samsung device. But nevertheless, they're obviously priced in two different categories because now you can get this for about £600, whereas this is around £900 brand new. Forget retail, forget RRP, it's not relevant at the point of this video. Because, like we said, this has been out for about 6-7 months and this has been out for about 3 months. So, retail or 2-3 months, I don't know, probably a bit less. But retail is relevant basically, that's the whole point. Retail prices matter not unless you're buying full price directly from Samsung. Which obviously, if you have a bit of sense in you, none of us were ever gonna do. Nevertheless, if you're in the market for one of these phones, chances are you're gonna watch a video like this, like one of mine, so we're gonna compare them both. So at this point, just wanna show you guys, both phones are running exactly the same firmware, one UI 3.1, same versions of Android. If you're going to buy the new phone over the old one, the fingerprint sensor might be one of the reasons that persuades you to get one over the other. Sometimes they both work flawlessly. In other times, the S21 Ultra seems to shine ahead because its surface area is just so much greater. Now with the app tray cleared, I'm going to power off both devices and we're basically going to now do a cold boot to see which one turns on first. Now the Note 20 seems like it comes on first, but the 21 Ultra is usable a far quicker. One second or two, but makes all the difference for the purposes of this test. In the real world, does it really make a difference? No, not at all. They're basically the same generation. Now with the app trays cleared, we're gonna open up apps, commonly used apps, and here you can see the 21 Ultra comes first on the phone, comes first in the messages, and we're gonna try, oh, calculator? No, can't really seem to find it. So we'll try something else. We'll load Chrome on both. And here, whatever was in the past just seems to come up instantly. We'll try BBC News. They both seem to be pretty neck and neck. But loading the web pages, the S21 Ultra comes out first again. This could be down to processing power, graphics power, who knows what it is. But basically, one is marginally better than the other. And that is so far the 21 Ultra. Moving on, let's try something different. We'll open an app that we've already opened. And as you can see, they're both instantaneous because there's something called cached memory and because of cached memory, they both open instantly. eBay, both of them haven't been opened. Mine on the left opens considerably quicker, possibly because I'm logged in or I use eBay more, so maybe the phone learns, who knows. The email app equally used, they equally load up quickly. The Gmail app we're gonna try next, I think. Oh no, yes, yes, yes we are. Um, so the Gmail app on both, as you can see, I don't know why, the 21 Ultra was quicker. So basically, in all these sort of tests, they're all neck and neck. Battery use, in roughly 55%, I've got four and a half hours of screen time. And on her phone, in 29%, she's got one hour, 40 minutes of screen time. So basically, they get about seven hours of screen on time if you stretch it, um, a bit more on the 21 Ultra. Coming to cameras, you can see, the wide angle camera on the S21 only goes to 0.6 for some reason. And on the Note 20 Ultra, it goes to 0.5. So a bit wider on the wide angle front. Otherwise, the camera array is the same other than the three times telephoto zoom. All the recording modes are the same. The video modes, they both have exactly the same specification. And even the different zoom specs, other than the 3x zoom, it is all the same. So going on to something that we can quantify uh, the performance difference with, we just run Geekbench 5. And basically you can see with some wizardry once more that obviously the S21 Ultra is a lot more powerful. Single core roughly 20% and multi-score roughly 30, 40%. Was am I surprised? Should you be surprised? No, because 
It's a generational leap in processor technology. But basically the note took about 20 seconds longer to complete the test. In the real world, do you ever do anything like this? No. Another observation I made, the note seems to have 0.3 gigabytes of more usable RAM. What that means, probably nothing, but there is a difference in the chips that are being used between both phones. And yeah, that's something to bear in mind, I guess. Now I thought I'll load PUBG because it still seems to be a popular mobile game. And none of these games have been played on either phone for, I don't know, maybe a year or two. They just happened to be installed. But both of them had to run the same updates and they're seconds apart, really. Well, not even a second, like maybe a smidge, you know. But at the end of the day, there's basically no difference. The note is just like less than a second behind. But somehow we get into a game quicker than we do on the note. For some reason, matchmaking takes a lot longer on the Note than it did on the S21. Maybe the ping, maybe the Wi-Fi 6, maybe the Wi-Fi chip, who knows? Something I forgot about, the selfie camera, which is basically the damn same on both cameras. Nothing to say there, nothing different. So that's the differences in the phone. Let's uh, go back to our talking headshot. So you've seen what the difference is between both phones. If it were up to me, and I had the 200 pound extra, getting the newer phone is always the hit. But if you don't have it, for about six, 700 pounds, this thing is bloody awesome. Nearly every feature this phone has, apart from a constant variable refresh rate at higher, apart from being able to punch out a V, apart from being able to use its higher refresh rate mode in a higher resolution mode, this can only do it in 1080p mode, whereas this can do it in 1440p mode. Is that a big deal? In real use, having used both next to each other side by side, it makes little to no difference. Um, it's just nice being able to do it in this one. This obviously has a bigger battery, probably why they didn't do it here. You can see the Note is ever so slightly thinner, the S20 is ever so slightly thicker. There's probably like one, 1 1.2 mil in it, if that, but you know, feeling them and holding them, you can tell the difference because human beings, we can tell the difference between tangible products. So with all this said, which one should you get? Hell, if you have money, go get both. You know, you don't need to listen to me talk about it, but ultimately this is a better phone bar the S Pen and you can buy an S Pen, same functionality as this on this now, or even use this, but you can't use this one's S Pen on this phone, but you won't get the smart features because they're specific to each phone gets a bit confusing they're merging the lineup so it seems so really it's debatable whether we're going to get an s sorry so really it's debatable whether we're going to get a note 21 ultra at this stage anyways i do try and make these videos i do try and enjoy making these videos to be fair um probably didn't make as many subs as i thought i'd make but nevertheless Probably never made as many subs as I would have liked to have made. But that shouldn't really put me off. So when I do get time and I do feel bothered about putting out a video or something like this, then obviously we, then obviously I try my best to get this out. However, in the future, if I'm gonna carry on making videos, I need some bit more support and a bit more love. So hit that subscribe button, give me a like, all right? Talk to me in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video about this. Maybe next time, I don't know, but we'll see. So that's it, take care, all the best, peace. You know, world's coming out of lockdown. Go enjoy yourselves whatever way you can. Till next time. Perfect.